And then I read at the end of all that a, a Hindu myth. So I'll just reread that to get us into that territory about the bird god Garuda. Yeah. Garuda flew and remembered. It was only a few days since he had hatched from his egg, and already so much had happened. Think about it, you know, uh, you know even a human being coming out of um, mom's womb, we were already there for nine months, and we come out into this world, and who knows what the world is like, and so much happens so quickly. Who is the first person he's seen? His mother, Venata. Beautiful in her tininess, she sat on a stone watching his egg hatch. Determinedly receptive. And that's the key. She had entered what Daniel Stern calls the motherhood constellation. She was determinedly, unconditionally receptive to that little one. Hers was the first eye Garuda held in his own, and at once he knew that that eye was his own. We talked about in the nature of the presence of mother, of caregivers, if they can enter a more basic state of presence, what little one sees is not just the other, but a reflection of themselves. Isn't that beautiful? Deep inside was an ember that glowed in the breeze. The same he could feel burning beneath his own feathers. I am and I deserve to be. And I don't know how many clients I have seen over the years who that's the exact territory that they're working on. They feel that they don't even know if they exist. They don't know what the sense of existence is for them, even as a self. And even more so, they don't feel that they deserve to be. And that's really sad. And of course, you, you, you get the other pole where our personality system builds in inflation and feels I'm better than anyone else. But underneath that, there's still that basic statement that I am not good enough. And that's really powerful. And as we'll discover, um, Fairburn, Ronald Fairburn called that the internal saboteur, the territory where we can self-sabotage. That's a powerful territory to know in yourself and, and to welcome an, an, an awareness of and hold with kindness. Because, boy, if we can't be kind to ourselves, who else is going to be? You know, we have to find that kindness for ourselves. And it's great to be in the field of kindness so we can start to feel that for ourselves. And that's one of the wonderful things of a good therapeutic relationship when the other is consciously holding a relational field which is non judgmental which is meeting basic needs of recognition, acknowledgement, unconditional acceptance, which is attuning to, to your state, and who is bringing things from that in, in inquiry. And boy, what a helpful field that is. So that, that kind of touches base with the territories yesterday. Does that resonate for everybody? Yeah, does that help people who are just coming in? And today, we start a kind of journey together uh, where we look at the early process of really shifting from being into becoming, into who we have become, into the, the nature of our particularness, our, my particular Franklin in time and history. Yeah. All the little, all the little poopsies and little Frankies in my heart um, that I I have to learn about and hold, you know.